That's right, everybody. This is Mr. Miff Miff. I'm back. And this time with a new game. Starflight. Specifically the Sega Genesis version. I still have not fixed my problem with recording both my voice and sound at the same time. But the sound in this game is minimal. This is probably the most sound there is, right here on the menu screen. If you really want to hear this music, you can I'm, you can find it, I'm sure. Um, the reason I'm playing the Genesis version is because I like it better than the other versions. It's just better in terms of everything. So, yeah, let's get started. I've deleted all files because I didn't need them. Because I already have a strategy. So let's start a new game. There's not, not enough room for Mr. Miff Miff. So we'll just name our captain Mr. Miff. So this is Starbase. At least I think that's what it's called. This is your message center. Operations. I'm not going to explain the whole story of this game because there's... I don't even know the story fully, especially for the Genesis version. So yeah, if you want to read this, pause the video because I've read it a million times. The first thing we must do is hire our crew. The way I do it, I hire three people. And two of them will fill two roles. There are five roles. Uh, sci uh, science officer, navigator, engineer, uh, communications officer, and doctor. So for science, the best race is a human. And I think I'll name them after Marble Hornets characters. So Jay can be our scientist. I'll go tra I'll train them. Never pick an android. They are untrainable. They're just like cheap to use if you can't afford to train someone high enough. But at the beginning, you have enough to max out the skills each person needs and that and it's a good strategy. You'll easily gain the money back. Now, um Let's name this one Alex. The best for navigation and engineering is a Veloxi, I think. Yeah. As you can see, humans are mammalian, obviously. And uh, Veloxi are insectoid, so think of that what you will. Velox. Sorry, Veloxi is what they were called before their planet was destroyed or something. And lastly, Tim. And for communications and uh, medicine, Elowins are the best. So now, train, max out their skills. It only costs 300 Mu. Uh, mu. Um, forget what that stands for. It probably said it on the email. And their learning rates are on the right. But it really doesn't matter since I'm maxing out their skills anyway. Okay, now they're all trained up. Now we just need to assign them to their positions. Science Officer, J. Navigator, Alex. Engineer, Alex. Communications, Tim. Doctor, Tim. And yeah. Now we'll never need to go onto that screen again. This is our ship screen. We need to name it first. So I'll name it. ISS hotel after the nameless hotel that uh, 
Jay and Alex, I mean, Jay and Jessica are stuck in. Or, well, it's theorized that they're stuck. Anyway, the first thing we must do is get as many upgrades for our um, T, uh, ATV, or um, terrain vehicle, armored terrain vehicle. So we have enough for the first four upgrades. So ice runners, snow treads, pontoons, and extra cargo. And we also, and then we're also gonna max out our cargo pods eventually. I think it goes up to either 11 or 12. We have enough for one cargo pod, it costs 500. And yes, okay. This is the trading center, we'll go in there later. And here's the airlock. All right. So you're in orbit. Now just break out of orbit by pressing the A button, I think. And then establish orbit with this planet right here. Now you press C. This is usually the exit button, but it's also the command console button. It'll open this command console. In the original games, I think the captain also had some uh, commands, but not in this game, and that's okay because they've all been taken up by other people. Science officer. Do not log planet. That means you recommend it as hospitable. And this one is not hospitable. And they will penalize you if you get it wrong. So those are our sensor readings. And then analysis can only be done after a sensor reading because it analyzes the last sensor reading. So yeah, clearly this is not a hospitable planet. And yeah, just land. Um, pick an altitude and a place to land at. How about we go here? Whatever you do, do not just fall down. You can press A to um, accelerate upwards. And then you can also move anything. You don't want to just crash land because that'll do damage since we don't have any armor yet. So now just disembark. and do a mineral scan. We did not really get that many, but okay. So then just go over. What? Wasn't there minerals right here? Oh. Okay, that's all there was, awesome. And you only have 100 energy. Of, um, there are two artifacts in the trade center, which we'll get. Um, one lets you just teleport back to your ship as soon as you run out of fuel in the ATV. But we don't have that yet, so you don't want to run out of fuel. Oh god, my uh, virus scanner. One second, guys. And we're back. Okay. I didn't mean to take off, so let's land again. As you can see, you lose fuel when moving around a planet, but not in the solar system. The way to lose the most fuel is inter, uh, so interstellar travel, but we're not going to be doing that for a while. Let's go there. Not too shabby. You'll only be able to... Um, What the crap? Wait. No, that can't be. No. I don't know. You'll only be able to fill up the ATV with minerals as far as your ship can hold. So it won't let you pick up anymore. After that. And moving over mountains and other rocky terrain really 
sucks away your fuel. And you have the pontoons to, just in case you happen to get into water, but you don't actually want to travel on it. It'll suck away your fuel like crazy. Oh, and there's the halfway point. You couldn't hear it, but like when you get to half fuel left, it does like a weird beeping sound. Nah, 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 nah. I tried to record this once before, but none of my sound was working at all. Like, my speakers, my microphone didn't work. Yeah. It kind of sucked. Grr, I did that for no reason. It's over 9,000. That made no sense. I don't even know why I said that. That was totally uncalled for. And yeah, the only way to embark on the ship is like right there. Nowhere else touching the ship. It has to be right there. Not the easiest thing ever on an emulator. Oh, and ah, God. land. There's the first example of a mineral just being out in the open. God, this is going to suck. I might not make it back to my ship. No, it's not worth it. Let's go back to the ship and we'll just fly over there. All right. Okay. Good, so our ship's right there. Go back, right back to the... We might not be able to fit anymore. Yeah, we can't. Jeez. That's how fast mountains suck away your fuel. Yeah, we don't have enough room. So now you go back to Starport. I'm running out of time. land so sell sell all the minerals you got do not sell the endurium that's your fuel and yeah hmm just let me save and that's where I'm gonna stop for today all right, um, this has been fun, and I promise to talk less about the game and more about random stuff like a normal Let's Play does next time. Yeah, that was a joke. Bye.